The journey has been something like if I would say, if given a chance I could change or rewrite my script uh, till now, I won't change a single thing. So it's been that good and that nice. I've been very lucky enough to be where I am today, very fortunate enough. And uh, ISL, of course, uh, it's been massive, uh, not only for me, I think, for a lot of footballers, for Indian football itself. Players like me, uh, in the first ISL, when we came across uh, Del Pieros, the, uh, Robert Pires, of course, they have this, uh, their level is much higher, but this is what it's done, it's given us more confidence, it's given us more exposure, and I think uh, Indian football, in my opinion, uh, we will always be thankful and we'll 50, 100 years down the line, whenever we see how Indian football improved, the first page or the first sentence or the first word would be ISL. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty big enough. I've said many times, Kerala is like my uh, my family, even though I've, uh, we both are different now, as in I don't uh, play for them anymore, but still for me, uh, Kerala will always be a special place in my heart, uh, no matter what, no matter where I go in my life ahead. But it is what it is, you know. Uh, players come and go, coaches come and go. What remains is the club and the fans. And, uh, and I always wish good to Kayla Blasters and the people of Kayla Blasters. And I always regard them highly in my heart. I think it's um, the word rumor itself, I think, clears a lot of the air. And I was pretty. Disappointed also because people have their own perceptions, they make their own rumors in their mind, they go on social media. That's why I don't like social media. They go on social media, they hear one thing from someone and they start making their own sto stories and nobody knows what actually happened apart from me. And then people, they have their perceptions that uh, he had to go to Europe. Give me one statement either from me or my manager Anuj or anyone from my family or the club, Kerala Blasters, where it says that I was going to Europe, where it says I was going to Middle East, where it says that I wanted to leave, or if we said the club wanted me to leave. There's not a single statement. So from where you get all this? So it's, it's uh, for me, it's all rumors. They know nothing about it. And yet they want to make their own books about it. So it doesn't make sense. My job is now at ADK uh, Mohan Bagan. I work for the club and this is my family, you know, and that's how football works, you know. And that's it, I'm just tired of this thing, honestly. When they ask me, like, who's the best centre-back, in your opinion, I always say, like, my favourites, like, I always say, like, Nemanja Vidic, and Leo Ferdinand, Paolo Maldini, Alessandro Nesta, but now if I say Bonucci and Kileni, so for me, I think centre-backs always come in a pair. I think uh, and it's very important because it's literally you're behind you have to organize everything when you're going to press, when we have to drop off, <clears throat> how we're going to play because you see the formation of the other team, if they're playing a high line, so you have to make a lot of uh, decisions very quickly. Uh, so yeah, it's very important to have the same tuning and same mindset which is I, I completely with Thierry, which I have with Arnas in the national team. So, yeah, it's just very important. It's just not these two, the fullbacks also are vitally, vitally important. The goalkeeper, yeah, everyone is very important. The guy in front of us, the number six, is massively important for us. So, yeah, everyone is important, man. It's not just two guys there at the back, or the strikers, it's just everyone, leaders, 11 leaders on the pitch <clears throat> is a winning formula. First thing, when you asked me this question, the thing it reminded me was we lost in the finals against to them. So that's the first thing came to my mind. Uh, top guy, uh, top footballer, I think, is uh, one of the finest footballers who have uh, come in India. Uh, but more than that, he's a great human being as well. Um, so I've been speaking to him for pretty long, you know, because you have certain connections, uh, especially when you have defenders, you have that mutual respect for each other. And finally, uh, <clears throat> to play together with him, I think it's uh, the results itself, uh, they speak for themselves. Um, and we're doing pretty well. You know, it's, the combination also is easy because he's left-footed, I'm right-footed, so it just matches more when you have uh, both feet in the in the centre of the game and centre of the pitch in the defence. So yeah, man, top guy, top to play with him, down to earth, listens to you, I listen to him, and 
Uh, like I said, it all speaks for themselves, and uh, and he's a new father now. So seeing him on the video call all the time with his son, you know, I feel for him. <laughs> he's missing his family, but great guy, man, great guy. Mi experiencia aquí en India sigue sigue siendo muy buena desde el primer año. Si sí, es verdad que el primer año me costó un poco adaptarme, pero bueno, yo creo que con la ayuda de los compañeros como Borja Fernández y José Mi pude adaptarme lo más rápido posible, porque es que llegar aquí a un país totalmente diferente, con la cultura que tiene también diferente, un clima diferente, me costó un poquito más adaptarme, pero bueno, con la ayuda de ellos pues pude adaptarme lo más pronto posible. Cuando el club hizo oficial mi, mi fichaje, la verdad es que me sentí como si nunca me hubiera ido de, de Kolkata porque recibí muchísimos mensajes dándome la bienvenida, mostrándome mucho cariño y bueno, quiero agradecerle a los fans que, que bueno, que gracias por todo, todo el cariño que me están demostrando día a día. Creo que sí, porque son muchos los jugadores españoles y entrenadores que han pasado por aquí a lo largo de toda la historia de la India Super League. Y yo creo que eso es bueno porque eso significa de que se habla bien de, del país y de la, de la competición. Pues a lo largo de todos estos años, para mí, los jugadores que más me han impresionado han sido Chetri, eh, Brandon, Tapa. Jingan y he visto mejorar muchísimo a Pritan y Pravi. Él y yo cuando estoy en España hablamos a veces y bueno, leí en una noticia en las redes sociales de que podía firmar aquí con nosotros. Le pregunté, pero él me comentó de que no era, no era seguro, que había una pequeña posibilidad y bueno, gracias a Dios pues está aquí con nosotros. Cuando, cuando vi por primera vez a Jingan jugar, lo vi que era un jugador contundente, que tenía un buen juego aéreo, que era rápido, no daba un balón por perdido y la verdad es que tenerlo como, como compañero es un privilegio. Respecto a la final, pues bueno, creo que al acabar el partido pues nos dimos la, la mano, eh, y él me dio la enhorabuena y, y ya está, eso queda en el pasado y este año pues tenemos que intentar pues hacer lo mismo, pero juntos. Respeto a todos los centrales que hay en India porque hay muy buenos jugadores, pero para mí el mejor central es Jingang. Llevo seis años viéndolo competir, me he enfrentado a él muchísimas veces y ahora tengo la suerte de que lo tengo como compañero, lo veo entrenar, lo veo competir conmigo, trabajo con él día a día y no tengo ninguna duda de que es el mejor. Es cierto que hemos empezado muy bien, pero todavía no hemos conseguido nada. Eh, yo creo que tenemos que seguir trabajando, seguir mejorando, seguir corrigiendo nuestro, nuestros errores. Y para seguir esta línea, eh, ese es el camino. Y yo creo que, bueno, que si seguimos así, pues podemos aspirar a grandes cosas.